MIDI editing and quantization are like two peas from the same pod. You really can't have one without the other. Now quantization can be used for two purposes. It can either be used to clean up a poorly recorded MIDI performance, or it can be used to add shuffle to a MIDI performance that's been recorded too rigidly. For example, the MIDI that I have here kind of sounds like machine music. It's very hard quantized to Logic's timing grid. You can see that every note is on a 16th note on the timing grid itself. And as a result, when I play this sequence, it sounds pretty rigid. It's not like there's a human playing the drums at all. It's more like a computer playing a drum machine. Well, you know, which it is. But anyways, we can add a lot more shuffle to this sequence by using quantization. So let me show you how it works. I'm gonna select a bunch of notes and then go up to the quantize menu right here and choose as an example, quarter notes. When I do that, every note is shifted to the nearest quarter note. Now before you go shock, gasp, that's the wrong timing for the sequence. I should point out that quantization is a non-destructive edit. Logic remembers two quantization values for every note. One is the note's original value and the other is its quantized value. And that's important because if I go and turn quantize off, I get my notes back to their original positions. Anyway, the rigid quantization values you find at the bottom of this menu aren't very useful for what I'm working on here because these notes are already very rigidly quantized to Logic's timing grid. What's of a bit more interest are these swing values. So if I choose 16C, notice that these notes have popped off the timing grid slightly. It's gonna give us a bit of a swing quantization. So with that in mind, I can work through these quantize settings until I find one I like. These swing values are actually all pretty extreme. Let's try this one here. 